99% winning percentage, so Volt knows how to get it done. And here we go, the final set of the games here in Group D. And it, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. Ready for a It's going to be one? a fun day tomorrow, and this is going to be Let's a wild go. one. Let's go, baby. You like old westerns? You like shootouts? High noon? I like guys that chuck the ball all over the yard, and that's what we're going to get in this one. It's fantastic. So we start off with Young Kim. He's got the rock, and he's got Aaron Rodgers. And he's going to run it with Rodgers. He's got some space. He picks up an easy 12. Yeah, the mobility of Aaron Rodgers right at the gate causing problems for Voldrex defense. He's going to have to dedicate one defender on a quarterback spy. So ball of 37 now, first and 10. A little bit of adjustment. Rodgers staying in the pocket. And then you can only stay there for so long before Joey Bosa gets a block shed. Yeah, so the good defense there from Volt. He's going to call what's called a DB fire press. The majority of the game, uh, game stay in one defensive call and make adjustments out of it. Second and 17. Ball at the 30-yard line after the big loss of seven. A lot of audibles here early on from Young Kiv. And a nice find. Boy, yo, and he gets free. And he'll carry some players on his back down to the 32. That was the big fella, his tight end cook. Yeah, and I like the recognition there from Kiv. He got a man-to-man -man defensive coverage. He hits the tight end on the corner. Huge first down. Back to the bunch on first and 10 at the 32. He's got Derrick Henry to his left. At some point they're going to run the ball, but it's going to be surprising. I think these guys are up to the challenge. They air it out. A little check down. Lost the ball momentarily, but it was out of bounds. Pickup of seven. Inman, watch out. Yeah, and Volt is going to stay in that DB fire press. You're going to have this slot defender here, this slot defender there. They're going to try and generate pressure, but he'll then also drop them into coverage against specific receivers. So he makes a lot of adjustments throughout the game. And right here from Kiv, he's flipping his defense just in case the blitz is coming to make Volderex alter his defense. Second and three. And there is Derek McHenry, uh, McHenry getting out of bounds there. So we're scoreless. Let's go to a game break with Zach. Carey kicks it off 7-0 on a four-play 76-yard drive. He takes the lead over Hollywood 7-0 in his first. So Aaron Rodgers continuing to move it down the field. Let's take a look at it again as the GOAT Jerry Rice gets free down at the five. Yeah, you want to get to him the ball in traffic, he'll hang on to it the majority of the time. Now if you're, you're a kid here, look to get the ball in the back of the end zone. And your big receivers, Cook. Did last time, did I make Derrick Henry, did, did I make him Irish? You I, think I, I think I called him Mick Henry. Yeah, that's perfect. And they'll hand it off to Derrick Henry and he gets to the three yard line. They get the ball down to the three. Henry, good option there. You can see the aggressive uh, run style defense right there from Volt. You can see he's sending all of his interior defenders to play and run support there, anticipating run. Most likely see that once again here on third down. Watch for a quick slant over the middle of the field here and, and deep throws the back of the end zone. So 233 here in the first. Kiv on his opening drive. He's got it down to the three. Second and goal. Can't run sneak here. You gotta look toss, gotta look outside. That's where he goes, gets a block, cuts it inside. And there's an early score from Young Kiv. Beautiful drive. I mean, this guy is playing on another level right now. Just executing at all levels, taking advantage of seeing that the interior part of the field was stuffed. He goes toss, little stick work inside, little truck, no one's there. Six. Yeah, if he would have stretched it out. Bad would have news. probably lost two or three yards, but a good job cutting it back. And now here comes Volt. This is the first time I've had the pleasure to call a game of Mr. Volt's. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, it, it certainly is a pleasure. He likes to throw the ball downfield. Now, anytime you see him, everyone at home, I want you to pay attention. When he goes into this formation right here, the gun empty saint, and you're going to see this where there's no halfback in the backfield. This is when he wants to get the ball to Randy Moss. You'll see him motion Moss inside, puts him on a fade, gets time in the pocket with his pass protection, and then he's going to chuck it to him. And he's going to go for the swerve, and he's going to try and make <laughs> Kiv's life a living mess in this game. Now, you called one of his games, or many of his games, in the New England Club Series. He came up short. If he gets too swerve happy, that's when he can get into trouble. 
So first and 10 from the 22, trailing by a touchdown, Volt needs the, the answer. Double coverage on Moss on the right side. And so he'll go the other way, why not? And he's wide open, and it's a crib shot for Volt. Wow. And, and listen, that's what you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna see. A textbook Volt, he's going to throw downfield. You have to pay so much attention to Randy Moss on the right side. We had double coverage on the outside here. You can see, look at Moss over there. Double coverage with two defenders. That leaves one-on-one, -on -one outside pass lead, wide open, rack catch, crib shot. One play and you have a tie ball game. That's what I'm talking about. It's yeah. taken us Last game the six day. games to get here. We but we're got, finally settling in. Got to do it for Grandpa Volt. You got to stand up for Grandpa Volt. Needs this one to move to two and one if Volt can get it done. Young Kim looking to move to three and oh. It's number nine versus number 29. Good change of defense right here from Volt. He, typically we don't see this. He's in a four down line, typically stays in that dollar. And you can see a nice adjustment here, run off the left edge. That's where Henry will go with it. And he'll fall forward to the 33. And that'll bring up a second and two. That's a, such a small little thing that Kiv did there, but he recognized that pressure was set up to come off the right edge. He took the matchup that was favorable and ran the ball off the left edge. Same scenario here. So on second and short, young Kiv with Rodgers. And a nice little delay there. That'll move the chains. Let's go to Zach with a game break. We are down in the red zone. Hollywood has driven down. He's got a second in goal with 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. A good response drive after Kerry came and ran it early. Can he get to the edge with Todd Gurley? He does. Punches it in. And pending the extra point, he's going to tie this thing up. Back over to you guys. Boy, Kerry Q looking very tough. And Hollywood, not so tough. Running into a couple of tough players himself, though, for Hollywood. Yeah, a bit of a buzzsaw today. Second and ten after the drop by Doug Baldwin. Motions Cook. Rodgers has time, checks it down, and Henry. Yeah, get off of me. I love it when guys go check down. I, I just absolutely love it. It's one of the hardest things to do on a consistent basis, but it's so important. You know, a guy that does it really well, Mike Skimbo. That's a guy that checks down very often, and it's one of the reasons that he's so successful in this game. He'll toss this one up, and Jerry Rice, man on man. Ha ha! Clinton Dick. I'll tell you no, what, sir. Aaron Rodgers is playing on another level for Kiv, and so is Jerry Rice. You can see that he throws across his body off one foot and delivers a strike, and then Jerry does the rest. 50 seconds to go in the quarter. We're tied at seven. Let's get a little close here on the shotgun. Rodgers will take off. Got to be careful. Down to the 12. Yeah, you got to protect the ball there. You know, Rodgers has scrambled a, a couple times already in this game. He's moving around the pocket using mobility, but the more you let him get hit, the higher the chance he will cop the ball up at some point. So 25 ticks to go in the first. And they go to Henry. Henry will make it to the 7-yard line. Third and two. Can take it to the quarter if he wants. A little bit of back and forth, but a nice sustained drive so far by Kiv. Yeah, he's got to be very careful here. Uh, uh, Volderex excels in these situations in the goal line. It's third and two, so a spot here. Kiv looking for short crossing patterns over the middle of the field. Volderex excels at getting interceptions, user interceptions in this area of the field, paying a, a lot of attention over the short part. So we've got to be very careful. You can see here Kiv. Great ball distribution right now. Six rushes, six passes uh, so far. And then, of course, big volt right now. One pass, a touchdown. These guys' rosters are so even. Let me break it down for the Mudheads here. These guys both have an 89 overall rating. They both have 13 elites and seven players over 90. It's almost a carbon copy, and that's why we're tied at seven. Got to have a quick throw here. Lucky to get away with it. Gonna have a fourth and two. What do you do, my man? You kick the field goal. You take the the the, uh, the lead here. You know Volderix has a, a, the ability to put up a lot of points. So if you're Kiv, you need all the points you can get as well. And he will go for three, and it's up, and it's good. So it's a field goal lead for Kiv with 4:55 left in the half. Yeah, that was a great job by Volderex right there, though. He, he gave up a lot of yards, gave a couple big plays, but he clamped down in the red zone, gets the stop, and here we go again. He's getting the ball back. 
And then we're going to go two for two here. We'll see. Anytime you see him in that gun empty formation right here, this is the tell for you at home to watch, okay? Let's anticipate he might be going downfield. A lot of times what he likes to do, runs three verticals downfield, maybe one underneath uh, crossing pattern, gives himself what we call a bailout, right? He really wants to throw downfield, but if it doesn't look good, it looks covered, he goes to the bailout, the underneath pattern. So watch first Moss. and 10. Watch Moss too here. He'll motion him in. That's how you know it's coming. He's one for one. One pass, one touchdown from Phillip Rivers. Rivers will go to work again. Throws it up for Moss, and he tried to swerve him. Not straight cash he got the He got the coverage he wanted. He got one-on-one -on -one downfield with the safety. Just wasn't able to click on and get him into good enough position. So second and 10. 4.51 to go in the half. He has time and he finds Graham all alone on a nice little playmaker. Knew he had him in the flats and sent him deep. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, the playmaker is a great feature that allows you to have the ability to grab one of your receivers and send him down the, down the sideline there. You can see it worked out for him uh, for the big game. So first and 10 at the 37. Volt on the move. It's getting aggressive here. And throw it just away as nobody was open. Cooks was the intended receiver. Yeah, and what's difficult about playing a guy like Volderex here is that he really forces you to play a different style of game defensively, and that's what then can open up a lot of these little underneath patterns because you're so worried about Moss, you're so worried about these deep options that you focus so many of your resources, your defensive resources, to stop Moss. Second and 10. To the air again. Throws it up for Moss. And he's just out here winging it. Oh, he's chucking it. He's gonna. I mean, that's that's the formula. We said at the top of the broadcast, the key to this game, him, him to play his brand of football, and he's sticking to it. You like the wings? I'm a lemon pepper guy. What about you? I'll, I'll just a straight buffalo. Give me buffalo. Buffalo wings. Oh, goodness. Crush him. Throwing it all over the yard. Third and ten. Moss not in the game. Rivers. Throws it up for Allison. And he's tackled at the one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's not Moss. He's going to get down to the one right now. Volt looking good in terms of his ability to throw down field right now. Gets all the way down to the one. Kiv. Geronimo Allison. Not a household name. Well, he might be after this game. <laughs> Watch the middle of the field pinched again. Watch for a toss. So first to go from the one. Barking out orders is Rivers, and he's just going to... Try to use that big frame to get there, and the answer is no. I'll tell you what. I mean, first and goal, I do like sneak. Maybe sneak again here in second down, and then you look maybe toss on, on third down. It's like he's Ireland, a little power O with David Johnson. Nope. That's plenty of time on the play clock. And he will get in. And Volt takes the lead over the number nine player in the world, Young Kiv. And he gets it done with his brand, right? And he, he's thrown downfield right now. Kiv, he's got to stay focused. What can happen is you're playing this this type of, of competitor here, and he's throwing the ball downfield like this. He can't let it frustrate you. You're playing great right now if you're Kiv. Just keep moving the ball. Get back. Put another drive together. You, you got stopped on a third and two. You moved all the way down to about the five-yard line on your last possession. So everything is still working for you. Just put another good drive together. Well, let's stop for a game break and check it out with Zach. Thanks, Tyler. Kerry converted a big fourth down. He brought it into the red zone, but had to settle for three. It's now 10-7. He's up over Hollywood, who's driving down. Two minutes to go in that half. Well, it's been sort of the theory most of this tournament thus far. We got two good games going on at once. It's fantastic. Couldn't ask for anything better at Group D the last co uh, couple games of the day. So Kim trailing by four here. Really needs a sustained drive. Well, he tries to figure out that Volt offense. Rodgers can't get rid of it. Had a man open. That was Henry. Was the check down. Yeah, 31. He had the check down open. He also had the post over the middle of the field. The, the route that Skimba was made famous. This little route right here. Bang. The Z-spot route we call it. That route was open. Let's see if he goes to it again. Third and one. 301 to go in the half. He's had success with Henry on these short yardage plays. 
will go to the air. And he'll throw it up for Baldwin. And that's, excuse me, that's Jared Cook. Both 89s running together. You go for the taller one. Uh, Cook pulls it in. I'll tell you what, you don't see Cook come down with that very no, often. No, you right don't. Now. He's a very athletic, big tight end, but that's a big play for him. He'll decide to go to the flats, and that is Henry. So that'll move it to the 35. It'll be second and short. Great check down right now, Kiv. Derrick Henry, three receptions in this game already. Doing a great job attacking the flats. He gets in these manageable second downs. He can run here. He can get aggressive. Every time he goes to this play right here, good things usually are a result of it. We got 26 seconds before the two-minute warning. Rodgers. And he'll hit a nice little drag route there. And that'll move the chains to the 22. I'll tell you what, shades of the Madden 16 championship last year. Young kid in that gun bunch tight end, a compressed formation looking tough out of it right now. Last play probably before the two-minute warning. And he might take it there. He might take it to the two-minute warning, and it looks like he will. Yeah, you know, you want to conserve time here. You don't want to give the ball back to, to Volt because he can literally score. You give him 30 seconds, he could score, whether he had timeouts, no timeouts, all the timeouts. So you got to really work this clock here if you're kid. Well, his first drive, he took 12 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> so he could score in 12 seconds. That's the answer to that riddle. So first and 10 at the 22. Finds the heat, throws it low. And that's hauled in by the tight end. Boy, I tell you what, Cook, it, Cook has been really tough right now. Let's pause for a game break with Zach. Thank you very much. A 13-play, 75-yard big boy drive from Hollywood. He cashes in, and he now leads 14-10 with a minute to go. He needs a win, and he needs Young Kiv to win as well. And then we'll let the mathematicians take over. Good run here by Henry. That's close to the marker. I think he's going to be short. Third in inches. Yeah, Henry's been a, a pivotal part of Kiv's offense so far in this game. For a guy that likes to pass a lot, he's getting the ball to his halfback uh, in the flats. He's, he's run a, a few times as well. Now, manageable third and inches here. Again, you're, you're watching this at home. You're going to see this. Come out in a quarterback sneak. Okay, do I have the read? Is the interior of the field open? If it is, you take it. If not, you're audible to what we call a power O or halfback toss. Get the ball out wide. So right here, interior field is, is shut. Got to go to something else. Go to a quick pass. It was nearly picked off, and now we'll do it all over again. Fourth and inches with 54 ticks on the clock here in the second quarter. I thought it was the jacket. I'm not so sure now. Well, it's Volt right now. Volderex is, is, is really clamping down, and we're going to get a big fourth and in inches right here. So you're saying I need a black t-shirt? You do. In a black hat. Fourth and in inches. Huge play. He's going for it. Play clock running down, and he might use a timeout, and he will. Yeah, I don't think he liked the, the, the call there. The matchup didn't look favorable there. You know, I think he may be thinking a toss in this spot here. You got to watch out for this outside defender. He can seal that edge, and then if you cut inside and get a block shift from one of these interior defenders, the, the toss will get blown up. You need to get a key block on the outside for the toss. There's a sneak. Got to fall forward, Tom Brady style. Couple of Omaha's, couple of Ohio's. <laughs> All the audibles you could ever ask for. I'm gonna go make a ham sandwich. Let me know what happens. Million playmakers. And he'll decide. And he'll get it. He picks up the first down, and it's first and ten from the twelve. That is a big time conversion right there. Take a look at the line of scrimmage. All the big dogs in the middle. Just enough Oof. push falls forward. Rogers. Three rushes, 15 yards. I don't think it was fourth and inches. I think it was fourth and an inch. Fourth, yeah. I mean, the ball was basically fourth laying a centimeter. on the line of scrimmage and the first down mark at the same time. Nevertheless, a new set of downs, 49 seconds to go and two timeouts for both these competitors. Watch for Volt's user right over the middle of the field. This is where he excels. And there is a sandwich. I talked about a ham sandwich. How about an Aaron Rodgers sandwich? The absolute fire right there from Volt. He sends pressure off both edges. Uh, and that's what's tough about the way he plays defense. You never know when he's going to send the blitz because he plays so much coverage. He usually matches up those slot defenders on, on your receivers. And Volt will use a timeout, so that'll stop the clock with 45 seconds to go in the half. Kiv 
Looking to the end zone. And why not? Jerry Rice will haul it in for the touchdown, and Young Kiv takes the lead. Great pocket presence right there by Kiv. Hangs in the pocket. Delivers absolute laser sesh right there. Bang, Jerry Rice. Click on, make the play. Cam Chancellor can't get the coverage to break the pass up. And just like that, Kiv goes up three score, uh, three points against Volt. 17-14 now. 40 seconds to go to work for Volt. That's an eternity. And this is where it's just absolutely terrifying. He's going to come out in this gun empty formation once again. This is the signal call. You'll watch for Moss. You're going to see him motion in. Now, for those of you at home, this is a difficult type of defense uh, to defend against. A lot of guys take, okay, go cover three. Let him know that he can go against you downfield. And that way you can click on and try and make a play. you got to click on and go to the back of the circle before you hold uh, down ball hawk. Uh, that got real deep. We'll explain that a little bit better uh, just here shortly. I would like to subscribe to your newsletter. <laughs> and here's a long bob and almost rack catched it. He had got behind the defender. Yeah, so here's what happens, right? You in, in these situations, you're defending against what Volt's trying to do. You're going to click on, you go to the ball hawk, but what that'll do is that's actually gives you the best position possible. You gotta click on, get to the back of the circle, and then go for the ball hawk. That gives you the best chance, or the SWAT. That'll give you the best chance. It's not always gonna work, but it gives you a fighting chance. Philip Rivers. Throws it to Randy Moss, who comes down with it at the 34. And we talk about how important drafts are. It's worth noting Volk got his playbook and Randy Moss. And he did, and you can see right there, perfect timing, perfect position from Kiv, but Moss just gets too big right there, not able to make a play. So some frustration on Kiv's part as he had a great execution on that play. You're using the Saints playbook for those at home that are like, I got to give me this playbook. And Randy Moss! Straight. Cash, homie. Yeah, and all you can do right there if you're Kiv is you sit back in your chair and you go back to the drawing board and you're going to find another defense, get another play there to stop it. But difficult for Kiv right now. I mean, Bolt is, is really doing a great job of getting the ball downfield. Take a look at it again. A bomb. 99 problems and they're all Moss. Yeah, and you can see right there, Kiv does click on. He gets his defender in position and he's just not getting what we would call the animation he needs to be able to, to get up and make a swat on that play. But, you know, Kiv, keep your head up. I mean, right now, the focus for you is how well your offense is playing right now. You're going back and forth here with Bull. If you can put together another drive here, 23 seconds, two timeouts. Let's try and get into field goal range, kid. Trailing by four. He's got two timeouts, as you mentioned. And he should have tried to get out of bounds there, and he yeah. won't, and he'll have to burn a timeout. Yeah, he tried to peel up field a little bit, and gain an, a, another yard or two. Got to get out of bounds there, save your timeouts. So second and one with 16 seconds left in the half. Had some absolutely fabulous Madden here today from Los Angeles. We're here in Group D, final games of the day. Rodgers has a man, and Rice pulls it in, and he's close to field goal range. And you're going to have to burn one and try to kick it through and make this a one score game. Yeah, great play recognition right there from Kiv. He sees that he got the man-to-man -man coverage, goes to the corner. Jerry Rice gets him in the field goal range. This will make it a one-point game. It's up, and it is good, and it's 21-20 at the half and a great job by young Kiv digging in and getting the points and, and that's what you want to see from young Kiv listen for him sitting in this in that chair playing against Boulder X this is one of the most difficult things he'll have to face throughout this tournament he's doing a great job at rebounding every single time that we're seeing Volt go downfield to get the big play he, and Kiv is coming back and if you're Kiv you got to look at that and say okay I can get through this I can get a win here against Boulder X well the lead is one for Volt over Young Kiv, and let's go to my man, Tyler. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate that. Wow. That was a heck of a first half. I don't know if I really expected that. None of us here at the desk really did, but, you know, Gibbs talked about it right at the beginning of the game. This is what Volt does. He's going to drop bombs, and Rico, that's all he was doing. If you can't stop it, I'm not going to stop doing it. He showed he has the best long ball in America, and everybody might think they have something for it until you actually go up against it. It's really difficult to defend that. He's doing it, and there's no answer for it. But there is defenses that can shut it down. It's a tactic that we've seen no other player really have true success with, maybe one-off attempts. But this kid, 
He's on top of both leaderboards, salary cap and draft champions. He's put in the time, he's put in the effort, and he's really making that work for him. So we got to see if Kiv can get an answer in the second half. Yeah, I'm very interested to see what second half adjustments on defense that Kiv is going to be able to put together to try and stop this aerial attack. Let's show you what's going on in the other match. This one's a doozy. Zach? Adrian Peterson is what's going on in this other matchup. He puts Kerry up 7 nothing, but Todd Gurley would strike back a 10-yard touchdown pass uh, catch to eventually punch it in and make it 7 Seven. Hollywood, though, struggling in this one with some clock management situations. Just not playing to his ability level. He has all the talent in the world, but he's got to put it together. He did go up 14-10 just before the half, but he made a pivotal mistake and gave away three points to make it 14-13. He's got a slim lead in this one, but he needs to stretch it to a bigger margin as he's 0-2 in his group. Absolutely. So much left to be decided. And thank you to Xbox for allowing us to even play this game. Guys, Xbox One S is the ultimate games and 4K entertainment system for Madden NFL 17 fans. Play with your friends on Xbox Live, the fastest, most reliable gaming network, and watch 4K Blu-ray movies. As I said right there, so much left to be decided. We have no idea who's moving on yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Group D standings right now to give you guys a little bit better idea of what's going to happen. Young Kiv, he's in a great spot right now. Sunet 2-0, usually that can get you in, but we've seen crazier things happen, Faros. We have, and Kerry at 1-1, one one, he's playing. Volt at 1-1, one one, obviously going up against Kiv, so there's a potential for some guys at 2-1 in, in these groups to really shake things up. Absolutely, or... There's a potential for the one and twos. It can go either way. You got to love how they're playing hard on both sides of the ball, and both games are nail biters. Oh, absolutely. I cannot wait to get back to the second half. Let's go ahead and take it down to the field with Drea. She is standing by with the man we don't know that much about, Voltrax. Absolutely, Tyler. Thanks so much. Volt, you have a one-point lead against one of the top 10 Madden players in the world. Your grandpa's here, made the drive from Boston. Shout out to Grandpa Volt. He's here. What does that presence mean to you, having him here? That means a lot. I mean, I like, I spend a lot of time with my family and I like having my grandpa around and he, he enjoys football and I, I go up to his house and my grandma's house to watch all the Patriots games. So it means a lot. That's big. Well, Tyler mentioned we don't know a lot about you. The Madden community is finding out a lot about you. Archie specifically wanted me to ask you, what does your name mean? What is the origin of why your name is what it is? I just came up with it a few years back. That's it. it. It doesn't mean anything. It was just made up randomly. <laughs> Random. We love it. All right, let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. We love it. I was hoping it was some sort of Voltron, like <laughs> forming the head. I don't know. They'll end up calling. You know how they call it getting mossed? Getting vaulted. Getting vaulted. That's, getting that's how it's going to have to be. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. For for Kiv in this second half. Just focus on what you're doing so well right now. Like, don't just throw it out the door of what's happening defensively, because Volt's going to get what Volt's going to get, and you are playing phenomenally on the offensive side of the ball. You're executing your 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 entire offense exactly how you want to do it. You're going formation to formation. You're taking short routes underneath. You're completing deep passes downfield. If you can just go shot for shot, you're going to come out with the win here. This first drive is going to be huge. Huge. Can Young Kiv come out and finally stop? He hasn't done it yet. Not only is that first drive, but how big is that? Field goal he got so, executed that last drive of that first half so well with very little time on the clock. So just a round of applause for Young Kiv there. Got to get a big drive here though. You just like the hair in the jacket. Ah, Let's be I love honest. The lettuce guy, love it. I'm I'm quite jealous of both. <laughs> so one point game. You get the jacket if uh, I get the jacket. Well, he's got to win it all. I don't root for anybody. <laughs> I'm supposed to be unbiased, <laughs> but whatever it takes for me to get the jacket, we must do. One point game. Ball at the 21, and here comes Volt. Strap your helmets on. Here we go. Oh, new look formation. At some point, we're going to have to get the sound guy in the back to cue up the air raid sirens. I mean, it is absolute bombs. And here we go again. Randy Moss. See ya. Bye, Felicia. And listen, Volderex is executing his offense to perfection right now. This may have been the number one performance we have seen with this sort of tactic maybe all season long. I mean, he is hitting them time and time again. Very difficult for Kiff here. You can see right here, time in the pocket. He's able to click on, get inside, and then get that aggressive catch downfield with Randy Moss. And a lot of this is the, uh, the ability in Moss 
uh, be able to get up all that speed, all that size, all that jumping ability. Very difficult to stop. But uh, remember, Kiv, play your game, play your offense, stay focused. You're running your offense to perfection right now. Yeah, you can't get the prices right sound in your head. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. You got to turn it around right here. Trailing by eight. Goes to Henry, breaks a tackle, and he'll step out of bounds at the 31. It's a great little play to start the, the, your drive right there. Six yard pass to the flat. Derrick Henry, break a tackle. Let's see more of that here. Second and four. Bunch will move to the left. He's got Cook as the tight end. It's been a big target for him in the first half. We'll see if that trend continues here in the third. Rodgers. He's had time. There's a block shed, though. And that is a big time sack from Johnson. And this game is heating up, and so is the other game. What's going on, Zach? Fourth quarter, Carey after an interception goes two plays, 61 yards. He's got a 14 lead. He did not go for two, so he's up nine over Hollywood. Carey getting it done on the ground. Volts getting it done through the air. We got a fumble, and there's a scoop. And Joey Bosa will take it in from the score. Wow. And all things looking good right now for Volderex. When you get a, a freebie like that, sack, fumble, scoop, and score, things can't be easy right here. You can see pressure off that left edge. Really dialed up a huge blitz. You know who's number one fan's got to be? Yeah. G-Paw Volt. Yeah, if you want to make somebody proud, there's nobody more proud than his grandpa, John Weirs. And he's seeing his grandson with a 15-point lead. And Kiv. Seek the power of the jacket, young man. You have a lot of work to do now. You're, you're now down two possessions, and you know Volt scoring at will right now. Rodgers rolls out. He just throws it away. You got to sort of compose yourself right now if you're Kiv. You do. You need to put together a drive. I mean, you don't anticipate a sack fumble like that for a scoop and score, so you got to put that in your back, like your back out of your mind and, and just execute here. Well, not a lot of folks in the community. You're about to, because this man is absolutely blowing up here at the challenge. That's tough. I'll tell you why that's tough right here. He rolls out of the pocket. He could have thrown that ball on the run, but he sets his feet, gets Aaron Rodgers in position, and Rodgers sailed it out of bounds. He's throwing the ball 22 times, rushed eight. Watch for Jerry Rice, right over the middle of the field. You're gonna see another clear out pattern underneath to get that route open. Get a user defender to watch the underneath clear out, and then you hit Rice over the top. Yeah, that's the magic of the bunch. You get looking. In, in, the, in the direction of the bunch, next thing you know, Jerry Rice is coming free. Play action here on third and ten. Beautiful. And that'll move the chains. And we talked about the power of this tight end in Cook, and he's had six receptions for 105 yards. Yeah, that was a beautiful play right there. He ran the, the, the he went to a new formation, and he ran that same concept yeah. out of that formation, and that's where he got that uh, the underneath uh, crossing pattern for the first down. First and 10 at the 45, trailing by 15. The number nine player in the world needs a score right here. And if you're just joining us, Volterax is number 29. He's sort of on the bubble, needs some points to stay in that top 32. Boy, he's very deserving of so. Oh, he, need, he almost needs the points more than Kiv at this this uh, juncture of the, of the game. And he needs it to advance to get a shot to go to the championship series. And you know, we saw Volderex uh, uh, compete in, in the New England Patriots Club Series. Uh, he lost in the finals there. Uh, he put on a great performance there as well. So we've seen him uh, compete at a high level uh, before earlier in this year. Bobby Wagner on the stop, but not before they get the first down. And Rodgers with a quick pass as they were bringing the kitchen sink, my friend. It's really difficult to anticipate when Volt blitzes, right? He plays a lot of coverage. You never know when those outside slot defenders are going to be screaming after your quarterback, and you can get caught off guard, because if you don't have your pass protection in order, you will get pressure against you. And a great time to blitz when you're starting to work toward the field goal range. The field goals are not on his mind. He needs touchdowns, and Rodgers will run for the first down. And they'll mark it at the 30-yard line just shy. You know, when you slide in and you have the ball back, it's where you go down. He was not past the yard of game. Yeah, and it certainly seems like uh, Volt is allowing uh, Kiv to scramble with Rodgers. So we'll see if that comes back to haunt him later in this game. And Volt is just happy with that clock moving at this point with a 15-point lead. And 
to be honest, you're scoring at will. I'm not saying, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're passing way past dinner time, but there might be some room for a 50 burger before we're all said and done. He's close. <laughs> He's certainly close, but right now, Kiv trying to put together a drive of his own right there. Another check down. You, you keep talking about Cook. I mean, Cook is having a big game for him right now, getting the ball to his tight end for good reason. Of course, when it comes to me, Gibbs, I'm always hungry. <laughs> and there's a pop pass, high pointed down to the four yard line. <laughs> That's a big man to admit that there, Scott. You, hey, you're always there, get hungry. I'm hungry too, though. I got to get on the Cobb salad train. I need to stop talking about 50 burgers and chicken wings. But they're so delicious. That's, that's, that's the problem. And the problem for Kiv right now, trailing by 15, four yards to go. Needs to get fine pay dirt. Twins to the left. And it'll go the running game. Ramirez was able to block one of the guys, but couldn't block the second defender. Now it's second to go from the two. Yeah, and right here, this is the this is a difficult part to get into your offense right here. You know, do you do you run? Do you pass? Do you go quarterback sneak? This is the, always the cat and mouse you see. Typically, the defense will load the box with defenders like you see right there to take away the sneak, force you to go to the toss. So here's the toss, gets the block, got to get to the edge, and Henry will get in there, and just like that, we got a one-score game. You can see, Kiv. Moving the ball well, really just needs to get one stop. You know, do you, you get a, a tip on, on uh, uh, one of those deep passes downfield? You, you ask the question of, okay, should you start sending some more pressure at Volt right, right now? Because Volt's getting all this time in the pocket. And here's the toss. You pitch it out wide to get a seal on the edge. Derek Henry does the rest right there. But, you know, you start wondering, okay, should he start sending more pressure to give uh, Volt less time in the pocket to throw downfield. Uh, that's going to give up a lot of these underneath short patterns, uh, but at least you're not going to give up these one play touchdowns. Well, let's take a game break with Zach. Hollywood, fourth and 11, his last shot to convert, goes across the middle, but Levante David is there for Kerry Q. And now Kerry, potentially looking to get some points, will keep you updated, but only a minute to go, and that one is over. That's Zach, good work from the the studio crew today, keeping us up to date on what's going on. Highly enjoyable day from a broadcasting and a viewing perspective. Absolutely, and you can see now with, with Kiv, he, he's changing up his defense. He's going to a, a, a more of a cover three look to try and combat some of these throws downfield to give himself a shot to, to click on and make a play. One of the big differences in here, it takes three minutes for young Kiv to go 75 yards. Takes nine seconds for Volt to do it if he wants to. Yeah, you can see he's seven for 11 passing, and he's completes, okay, seven passes for 315 yards. It's ridiculous. That's literally video game numbers. And that'll take it to the fourth quarter. So the number 29 player in the world, Volt, has got an eight-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. Let's step away for a moment. Zach, what's going on? Kerry has 12 seconds left. He's got the ball. We'll see if he tries to rub some more salt in the wound. He did this earlier. He ran the score up on Volterax earlier in the game when they played during game one of this group D. So perhaps just trying to get a few more points. This game potentially with Hollywood, not big factor into the scoring, but he's going to roll out here on third and 12. And we're going to send it back to you guys for a hot replay as you guys got some TD action over there. Yeah, when you're talking about Volt, you can't turn away. We'll show you the absolute bomb. And now he's up 42 to 27. Take a look at this, Gibbs. Yeah, he scrambles out to the left side of the pocket, and then Brandon Cooks just dinked his way through three defenders. And that's not the type of touchdown that you expect to give up when you're facing Volt. That's like a freebie right there for Volt. Didn't even have to click on, didn't have to go for the swerve. He just got a Brandon Cooks wide open for the touchdown. Well, we've called some 13 to threes. These are all some nine to three games. <laughs> Picking up from He's the got points. 42 points. <laughs> you know, we talk to these players, we're like, hey, do you got swerve defense? And they give that little nod, yeah, I got this. But, but do you? Yeah. Do you really got it? It's really tough, man. And I, Farrell's nailed it earlier uh, during halftime. He said, yeah, you can usually have it a, a one-off situations. But really, consistently, all over the course of a game, if Volt is doing a, a great job at clicking on and getting his guy in a position, it's really difficult. It's difficult to stop. And you're seeing it here from Kiv. I mean, he's, he's trying to go shot for shot here. He's having a tough time, though. Trailing by 15 once again. He climbed back within eight points. 
And then Brandon Cooks called a dippity dot for the touchdown. Good look there, downfield. It's gonna be right near midfield. Positive territory at the 49. Yeah, great recognition right there. He's had that block streak many times throughout the course of this game. And good recognition, it was an all-out blitz right there from, from Volt. Rodgers checks it down to Henry, tries to truck, reaches for the first down, and they'll give it to him. Yeah, and, and for for for, uh, for Kip here, 24-32 with Rodgers, he's also in the 300-yard territory passing, so offense looking good right now for Kip. It's been a great offensive game for Kip. The only problem is defense not so good. Yeah, well, he's going against Volt. <laughs> Four minutes and change left in this one. you got to get rid of it, my man. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a little bit of the tempo of the game right there. He went to look for one of those downfield options. He had that drag open underneath. But if you're Kiv right now, you still have plenty of time to get in this game. You're scoring well. You just need to get one of those defensive st uh, stops, and you're right back in this game. Fifth sack of the game for Volt. Kiv has yet to record a sack. And he has to check it down once again, and Baldwin will get out of bounds at the 39. Yeah, that was a small little technique you saw right there from Kiv. He gets the catch to the drag, but he then peels out the, the receiver to be able to get some extra yak yards. You don't want to just run into the defender. <laughs> so third and 10 from the 39. Motion across the formation. Clock becoming a factor. Rodgers. Got to throw it away, and he will. Yeah, good throw away. I mean, you're going to be a spot here where you have to go for it now. This is for uh, all the marbles in this one, uh, potentially here with with uh, down two scores, fourth and ten, ball and 39, not in field goal range here. But Kiv going to his bread and butter, the gun bunch tight end, looking to flood the defense from left to right. Big fourth down with 3.32 to go, trailing by 15 is young Kiv, the number nine player in the world and moving up. Rodgers, beautiful, beautiful. great route. Jerry Rice looking for the sideline, can't get there. Clock moving at the 22. I'll tell you why that was so beautiful. You had a deep post over the middle of the field that had to be used to defend it. Volt went to it, it left up the outside out pattern wide open. Play action, gets rid of it quickly, and a absolute can't hold on. You just assume Jerry Rice is going to haul it in. I wow. Know, I always assume that Jerry Rice is going to haul that in. Tough break right there for Kiv, but that stay focused. And beautiful pass to Rice, who will sub out for this one. Second down. Checks it down. Smart play. Shakes a few tackles. And he's to the seven. But the issue is there's three minutes left in the game, and you're trailing by 15. And how about this? performance though from both of these players are there putting on a show right now Volt with his ability to go downfield Kiv all his checks down all his routes his ability to move the ball downfield quickly There's a little delay and anytime you get that bad snap throws off the timing and they'll lose a few yards second and goal yeah real important for Kiv here to get the a score before the two minute warning to get that extra clock stop even though he's got all three of his timeouts here comes the heat gotta get rid of it has a man and touchdown Inman who Inman, <laughs> where called you to go to, Scott? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Collin County Community. I have no idea. I got gotcha. you. I finally, finally got, got one. I just hope you don't ask me another one because there's <laughs> no way. And that's why I said who, but nevertheless, we got an eight-point game. <laughs> Goes up top. He gets the high point. And now we got a game. Now we got to get a stop here. You're an eight-point game, one possession. Need to get a break here if you're Kiff. You know where he's going. You know what he's doing. Uh, here's, my, here's my actual question though right now. Does Volt stay aggressive or does he try and run the clock out here? It, it's gonna be awkward for him if he tries to run the clock out because he hasn't done that all game. He's not in the rhythm, not in the tempo to do that. But it, the, the clock dictates that potential scenario. We don't need 50 points, we demand it. <laughs> And there is Moss, That's the answer. and he gets to the 44. He didn't throw a bomb, but he does pick up 19. And, and right there, that, I mean, that's clearly the answer. He's going to play aggressive here. He's not going to try and just run the clock out. You did hear over the mic, you heard young kids say, did Holly win? Those are the questions you ask yourself. Deep into Group D. Young Kiv 2-0, Volt. 1-1, one one, looking to move to 2-1 if he can put together a drive, and that'll be the two-minute warning. Wow. 
And this is where you need guys like Anthony Barr. Top of the broadcast, we said Anthony Barr was a big part of his defense. This Haven't is where Anthony Barr needs to stand up, make a play for young kids' defense. Can Anthony Barr guard Randy Moss? <laughs> That's what you need. I don't know. I don't know if anyone can right now. No. But but this is what you want right here. You can see Volrex goes to a run. This is not what he's been doing to. This is your chance and opportunity to try and get a stop here because the situation, the clock dictates Volt to try and run the clock out. This is an opportunity for Kim. Make a play with Anthony Barr. Get big. 156 to go. After the timeout by Kim. And there it is. Wanted the fumble is what he wanted. Didn't get it. Third and two. Lucky to get that one away. Clock will stop. Yeah, and, and he had the quick releases into the flat, but uh, Kib had that protected. Anthony Park, once again, watch him in the middle field right here. That defender, that's the guy to key in on. Does he make a big play? 42 to 34. Has the lead in the ball. Goes that to the run. And now a big fourth down. What a play right there. He just absolutely shoots in through the middle of the field there. Gets his paws on the ball carrier right here. You can see he shoots the gap. He's on him, user control. Gets first contact, Anthony Barr. And that's how you get into a fourth down situation. Fourth down and one. You might as well call it fourth down in the game. If he converts this, it's going to be very tough for a young kid. Goes to the air. Had B wide open. He couldn't get rid of it. And just like that. Put on your seatbelts, Gibbs. We're going down the wire. And, and I'll tell you what, phenomenal, phenomenal defensive performance right there from Kiv. He had a wide open receiver underneath. He didn't go to it. And here's your opportunity now, Kiv. This is a big shot in this one. Pretty good with the 60 yard passes, but he just needed a six yard pass. And he'll go to Henry. I like it. He's going to need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Yeah, you, you're going to start. At, that's in the back of your mind. What's that two-point play look like? Does this game come down to a two-point conversion for the, the game? 125 on the clock. He's only got one timeout, but a big-time catch down the field at the 23. He's from Seattle, and Doug Baldwin is huge once again for Kiv. Yeah, and breaks through the middle of the field there. Doug Baldwin hangs on to it in traffic. So first and 10 from the 23, 67 seconds left in this one. Got a timeout in his pocket. Got a lot of coverage right now from Volnerex. When does he dial up the blitz? Has time. Gets some separation from Cook. And Cook gets to the 12, doesn't get out of bounds, and the clock will move. I really got to give it to you. You've talked all game about Cook, how important Cook is to this offense, and, and he really has stepped up big in this one. Kid looking to Cook in the big moments. When you drop so many defenders back, you got to check it down. Cook has been there. Nine receptions for over 100 yards. And it looks like he's saving that timeout here. Clock is beginning to tick away. Do you go run here? Do you go a play action pop pass back of the end zone? Yeah, at this point, the timeout is hardly the factor. Clock's ticking away, man. He's got to be careful with it ticking away. Toss it into the outside. Needs a block. Doesn't get it. Close to the marker. And it's third and one. You got to go. You got to call a timeout here. I, I think this is the moment. Clock's ticking away. We're under 10 now. 10 seconds left. Go straight ahead. Doesn't get it. That didn't get there. Now he's got to call the timeout. Now he's got to use it. It's he one play. Here we mob go. Mob spaghetti? This is mob spaghetti time right now. Stand up for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we're going to end Group D of the Madden I Challenge. He's doing the math, carrying the one. Just score a friggin' touchdown, man. Get in the end zone. One time. Oh, boy. Womp, womp, wow. But that's smart. That's group play. That's what you get. That's group yeah. play. Hey. He cuts, point. cuts the differential to five. He, I mean, what he's doing there is he's looking at point differential with the rest of the group. We're going to get the math figured out for you at the end of this game. But he's seeing that this could come down to a potential I don't do point math. differential. And that's why he takes the points. He didn't feel confident he could get in the end zone. So he takes the field goal just to make sure that if we get into a situation where there's three guys at two and one, he's in favor of the point differential. Headsy play. It was coming down to the final wire. We'll oh, see if it we'll see if it pays off for him. Volt is the winner. He moves to two and one. And he has a five-point win over the number nine player in the world in Young Kiv. 
and GG's and shake hands all around. How about a shootout on that one? 79 total points scored, about 600 Woo. yards passing in that one. Just chucking the ball all over the yard. We said we wanted a game where people threw the ball over the field, and we got a game where they chucked it all over the yard. What a performance by both those players. Well, I, you know, I said it looked like Oklahoma football back in the 50s yesterday. Well, today, wide open offense. Absolutely. And, and Put on a show for Grandpa Volt, who, who did. drove 50 for all of us <laughs> for 50 hours to get here. Five days, what a performance! And it's all going to come down now to this mathematician figure out who's moving on. I can't wait to find out. Yeah, they're tallying the totals, doing all that kind of stuff. And I hope Farles isn't doing the math. No, we don't need Farles. We can't have Farles. Farles the math. No math for Farles. Not Rico either. But or I'll Tyler, tell you who I want to hear from. <laughs> Let's kick it down to Drea. Thanks, Scott Volt. Epic battle out there. Everybody loved watching it. Fantastic display. How did you feel about the job you were able to do today? I felt like I did pretty good. I beat two of the best opponents here. And, and what did it mean to you to do this in front of your grandpa? I want to circle back to him. The man drove so far to see you. So what did it mean to you to do that in front of him today? It means a lot, and especially the family watching at home. Shout out to all of them. I know they're watching on Twitch. Twitch, yeah, and everybody's watching. A lot of new Madden fans are Team Volt now. So what do you want to say to the Madden community, all the new fans that you earned today because of what you were able to show you can do on the big stage? I just hope I advance and hope I can do something tomorrow. All right, well, let's send it back to Tyler. Great job. All right, thanks, Dre. Appreciate that. Uh, we are doing...